out there fellow gardeners it's Kathy the neighborhood gardener back with another video that I just wanted to share with you actually it's several little videos put together I'll edit them down so it won't be too much of your time but I just wanted to show you one of the latest projects that I'm into so first of all I wanted to thank everybody who did come out to my plant sale last weekend it was a really good turnout and I appreciated that very much took the, the proceeds from that and I put it right back into plants, right? And that what we gardeners do. It's like there's so many plants out there, some beautiful plants. Anyway, that's going back into my latest project. So this is all kind of tying in together with this bee apiary that I am going to be putting out in my backyard. So I want to get some really good nectar plants for them and so i decided to take my front lawn and i'm getting rid of all of the lawn out there i just have a hard time with keeping on top of the grass down here in florida and the pest control of it and all that so i just decided i'm going to get native florida plants and just do one section at a time and put in um, pollinating plants so i'm going to take you along with me I got started on this uh, several weeks ago, I guess. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun for me. So I'm gonna just take you outside and show you what I have done with all of this and where I'm at in the project. So come along with me and I think you'll just enjoy the before and after, or at least, at least I hope you will. I do, I just love before and afters. Uh, looking at all of this. So let me give you a quick rundown. I'm going to put um, edit these videos together really quickly for you so it's not taking up too much of your time because I do appreciate your time very much that you're watching this. So come on, let's go get started. Okay, so as you can see here, all this grass here on this side of my lawn I am planning to take all of this up and also eventually do all of the grass on this curbside. I've actually already started taking some of the grass up on the other side of the driveway and I forgot to get my video camera out. So let me just kind of show you how I'm doing that. I am just using a weed whacker to bring down all the grass to the root and then I will put Roundup on it and kill that grass. So hold on and I'll get that set up for you. Okay, so you can see right here, I've taken a line all the way down here, dividing between my neighbor, who is actually my daughter. I've divided the line. She actually gave me a little more property to work with in this garden. So I just made a quick line to divide it and then I'm gonna take the weed whacker and I am just cutting this down as close to the ground as I can and that way I won't have to use as much Roundup to kill the roots of the St. Augustine because it's really tough to kill so and I don't like using pesticides but in this case it's about the only thing that's going to kill this St. Augustine so let me just show you quickly how I do this. this whole area is all done here and I was able to get all of that weed whacked down pretty good towards close to the ground and then I took my blower and I just blew raked and blew off the rest of the grass so it's not just grass clippings that are all just kind of laying on top of this today what I'm gonna do is uh, I bought some Roundup I've got the kind with the sprayer hose it's a continuous spray, so let me just kind of show you that. So it'll go pretty quick. I'll have to do probably two applications a week apart, and that should get it. And then I can start the plantings. So that'll be the fun part. Okay, one more thing, safety. So I am gonna be wearing a respirator mask as I'm spraying this Roundup because it is a pretty large area. So goggles and a respirator just to be on the safe side. And I think if it was just for spotting a few weeds here and there, I probably wouldn't do it, but I'm, this is gonna take me a while. I'm gonna do it section by section. Get some good music on, and we'll see how long this takes. Anyway, don't forget the safety. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at what this next garden bed looks like. I put the Roundup down yesterday, 
and it's looking pretty dead. So I will wait another week and treat it again, and we will see uh, if I can get those plants in the ground pretty soon. So I wanna show you some of the plants that I bought to put in this area. So first of all, this plant right here is called a Jotropia, and it will get, I think I said that right, it will get maybe five, six feet tall. It's kind of a tree bush kind of flower, but it has beautiful flowers on it, and I think that's gonna go center in the garden. And just a quick other look, I've got some Coreopsis here, and I've got some unusual looking plants that I just love. This is called rattlesnake plant. I got it actually for the foliage on this, I just think these will look really nice in a cut flower arrangement. It's more of a bog type plant, but I'll put this one in a planter and that way I can make sure that it stays pretty wet. And some of the other, these still have to blossom out. They don't really get a flower, this is just it. I guess this is considered the flower, but um, I can reseed these really well as well. I just think that was a cool plant. And then I got some different types of Coreopsis, and I can't remember the actual name of this type, but I just love the wispy leaves on it, but that'll be beautiful in there as well. And then I also got some Black-Eyed Susan. By the way, all these plants are nectar plants for the bees when we get those. And then this is another one that I just thought was just beautiful. It's just these long wispy. This is called dropwort. Let's see if you can kind of see that. Just a little cluster of white flowers that will just be beautiful. When these things are just kind of like blowing in the wind, uh, it will just be beautiful. And then I got some goldenrod. One of, uh, it's a fall bloomer that the bees will just absolutely love. And I got a couple. I think this is the sweet goldenrod. This one hasn't bloomed out yet. Uh, and this is called uh, slender goldenrod. You can just see there's a little bit difference in the leaves. Just a little variety that I think will look really nice out there. And then another one that I have here, this is called ironweed. And look at the purple blooms on that. Just another long, tall, wispy plant that will look so nice out there. And let's see what else have I got here. Joe pie weed. Look at the blooms on this. It's a beautiful pink. And uh, these will get pretty big and they'll just give a nice texture in the garden. And then I've got another one of the dropwort right here. And then this is Liatris. This starts blooming from the top and then they bloom on down. So um, you can see this one is also very very tall he's in the pot there but I'll do another uh, video once I get these all in the ground so what else have I got here that's new um, I have a scorpion tail in here somewhere it may be in the next oh here it is right here these get the most delicate Let's see if I can pull this one out these get the most delicate looking little white flowers and also a good uh, pollinator. I was told the bees just absolutely love this one. Bees and butterflies, that's what all these plants are all about. And back there in the back, I've got some, that yellow flower right there. That is some blanket flower. These all seed really well, so I'm really anxious to get these in the garden. And that way we'll get some, a nice smorgasbord for these bees and butterflies. Here, let me just kind of show you. This is the other section of the grass right in front of the Buddha belly that I have um, put Roundup on. You can see where I sectioned it off there. And again, I'll have to hit this in another week just to make sure all that grass is dead. And a few of the plants that I have over here that I'm going to be putting out here in this bed, I've got some fire bush. And these are just small small plants that I got from a friend. These are just cuttings, but they're doing really well out here. I have some salvias, different kind of salvias. And then I want to show you the Stokes Aster. Look at the bloom on this. How beautiful. Let me turn this around. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's got a lot of little buds on here. They tend to close up at night. 
a little bit and then um, with a little more sunlight they'll come out but these are not full sunlight plants so these will do really well here in the shaded area they've been sitting here for a few weeks now and they just they do really well look at the beautiful shades of the purple on there and then the magenta salvia so that's what this area is here so just to kind of give you a before and after for when i get these plants in the ground i have another plant here that i am going to divide these up these this is the laurenti snake plant or sansevieria and look at the beautiful yellow on there i am going to divide this plant up my uh, neighbors gave this to me in this beautiful pot and I think that'll just look beautiful when I put the salvia around it. This will kind of be the lavender purple garden, I think. So anyway, let me just give you a quick look here. These plants right here are not necessarily native plants, but this is the other garden bed that I've planted up. And um, I've got a variety of flowers in here. I put some zinnias in, and then I've got a uh, pink dianthus and some Mexican heather and then I've got the blue days this is called blue my mind blue days look at the flowers are just starting to bud out on these and then the white tea rose looking pretty healthy there and just a lot of repeats in here I have some yarrow here that um, not blooming yet this one is hanging on for dear life I'm not sure if this guy's gonna make it but I'll replant and then I've got some more zinnias and some coreopsis here a couple different species of the coreopsis that's one and then this is a different type again I don't know the different names of the species I have to look that up I can't keep all that straight in my head and um, oh look Look at who is visiting this garden and chewing up my flower. Look at this little guy. Look at that horrible slug just eating that zinnia. Got to put some slug bait down. Yeah, I hope you enjoy that meal. You're about to meet your doom. Anyway, so I just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoy following along on this project to see how this one goes. I just have so much stuff I love to share with you about the gardening. You know, I've loved, just put me in the dirt. Give me some worms and dirt, and I just love that. So I hope that you're enjoying following along with this and that maybe it's inspiring you in some way. Get out there and just look around in your yards or whatever, or inside your house with decorating inside. I know that there's a lot of people who just can't get outside. That doesn't mean that you cannot have a garden indoors. So maybe look up some of those videos as well and uh, see what you can do. Just bring yourself a little more peace. We need more peace with all this stuff that's going on. So anyway, that's the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I'm having fun making them. So anyway, till the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>